<clears throat> Good morning children. Um, today is Monday and it's a new week and it's a new half term and Miss McAndrew is wearing a silly hat and I wonder what you notice about this hat and what you think we might be doing today in math. So here we go. It's patterns. Okay, patterns. Now, patterns are everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. And once you start looking for them, you will see them everywhere. Okay, so the silly hat. Patterns are something that are repeated. So it can't just be something that's read. That's not a pattern. It has to be something that's repeated. So here we go. We've got red. That's right, white. Red, white, excellent. Red, white. So there you go. That is a pattern. It's a repeating pattern. It's the a sequence of colours. Okay, and it's repeated. That makes it a pattern. Okay, I'm not going to put it back on. So let's show some other patterns we have here. Happy face, sad face. Happy face, sad face. Happy face, sad face. Clean that clean. And what would come after? That's right. Unhappy, bad face, absolutely. Now, you can also have um, patterns that are sound pattern. So, for instance, if um, I did like this. So, bang, click, bang, click, bang, click, bang, click. That is a pattern. I'm making a pattern because I'm repeating something and I'm repeating it in the same sequence. Okay, so it doesn't have to be one of one thing, one of another. I've showed you here. It can be heart, heart, star. Heart, heart, star. Heart, heart. What would be next? Star. Quite right. Repeated pattern. Okay, so if I did left, right, left, right, left, right, it's a pattern. Left, left, right. Left, left, right. Left, left, right. It's a pattern. So anything that repeats like that is a pattern. So I've got one here that I am I'm going to make with you. Okay, so here we go. How would you describe that? What is that? There we go. That is a green rectangle, isn't it? Excellent. And we have a red triangle. We have a green rectangle. What do we think is going to come next? So, green rectangle, red triangle, green rectangle. That's right, red triangle. Green rectangle. And what's going to come next? It is, of course, a red triangle. And next after that, you're absolutely right, the green rectangle. Brilliant. Okay, now we can make patterns out of anything. So let's see what else we can do. What's that? That's right, it's an apple, a red apple. Banana. Red apple. Banana. What comes next? What comes next? Yes. It's a red apple, of course it is. And after that, it's a banana. And after that, it's another apple. Excellent. Brilliant. And you could do that a different way. You could do two red apples, banana. Two red apples, banana. Can you see? Two red apples, one banana. Two red apples, one banana. As long as you are repeating the same sequence. Okay, and you can do it with lots and lots of things. So what I'd like you to do today is to make your own pattern at home. Um, try not to um, bruise the fruit that you have in your house. So it could be anything. Um, over there, I've just had 1p, 2p, 1p, 2p, 1p, 2p, 1p, and you could mix it up. You can have two 1ps and a 2p, two 1ps and a 2p. So it's up to you. Um, I've got here. Spoon, fork, spoon, fork, 
What comes next? Spoon, fork. Excellent. So that's one thing you can do in your house today. And these things are called patterns. And remember, you can do a pattern, and I'll show you on the Zoom today. You can do a pattern with your body. You can do a pattern with your voice. You can do a pattern with shapes. You can do a pattern with fruit. You can do a pattern with colours. Um, it's totally up to you. Okay, so have fun um, for the next two days thinking about patterns. Okay, and I'll see you on Zoom. Bye-bye.